Hello friends, today let's solve the odd even jump. We are given an integer array a from some starting index. We can make a series of jumps. The first, third, fifth jumps in the series are called odd numbered jumps. And the second, fourth, sixth jumps in the series are called even numbered jumps. And uh, when we mean the odd jumps, we need the two jumps from i to j so that the ai is less than aj and aj is the smallest value that are greater or equal than ai. And for the even jumps, we jump from index i to index j. And we need to find the aj so that ai is greater or equal than aj and the aj is the largest value. And uh, we mean a good starting index that uh, from that starting index we can reach the end of the array. So by this definition, let's see this example. If the given array is 10, 13, 12, 14, 15, we will see how many good starting index in this array. We can check every index. So first we will check index 0, which is 10. At first, we need to make a odd jump. So we need to find the values are greater than 10. And all of these values are greater than 10, we need to find the smallest one. Um, luckily, all of these four elements are greater than 10. We need to find the minimum one, which is 12. Then we go to the index uh, one, two, index 2. Then next, we need to make an even jump. That means we need to find the elements that are less than 12, and uh, which is the largest among all of these elements. But we cannot find any elements that are less than 12. So that means we are ended at 12. That means this index 0 is not a good starting index. Then let's see the index 1, which is 13. At first, we need to make a odd jump. The same thing, we need to find the minimum number of all the numbers that are greater than 13. That means we, we go to the 14. Then we are at 14. The next, we need to do an even jump. But we cannot find any elements that are, great, uh, that are less than 14 on its right. So we are ended at 14. So that means index 1 is not a good starting index. So on so forth, we will find the 12 is not, uh, the, which means the index 2 is not a good starting index. But for the 14, which, the, which means first we need to do a uh, odd jump, then we go to 15. And uh, we reach the end of this array. That means index 3 is a good uh, starting index. For the index 4, we are already at the end. So that means index 4 is also a good uh, starting index. So in total, we have two good uh, starting index. Then the answer is 2. So how to solve this problem? Obviously, we can do a brute force. That means we iterate this array, and for every number, we will just to simulate the, the progress to find the, to do the old jump and the even jump. That means for the index zero, we try to find the minimum number, minimum number on its right that are greater than 10. So that means we have an out for loop and uh, inside we have a while loop, which means the index starts from the i plus one to, to the end. And when we do a out jump, we find uh, some elements greater than the value. And then if we can find a valid index, then we need to do a even jump. That means we need to find the, some elements smaller than the value. So the overall time complexity is big O n square. Let's see the code. 
this is the outer loop. We start from index i to a minus one because we will check every index to see whether it is a good starting index. If it is already the v n element, we know it is a good starting index. So we just uh, increment this result array. Uh, sorry, a variable, a variable, variable. Then otherwise we will try to do the odd jump and the even jump alternatively. So while the index is still valid, we first find the great elements than itself. And we need to find the minimum one. So we iterate the rest of the array. If we find the index, we next to do the even jump, which means to find the smaller elements on its right. So we do this or the even jump alternatively. So finally we can get a result. But the time complexity is big or n squared and as the you see the a dot length is less or equal than 20,000, so it will cause a time limited exceeded. So we can do better how to optimize this algorithm. If you see carefully, we start from left to right. We repeatedly calculate the value is greater than itself and or smaller than itself from the index to the right. This actually these two functions are just uh, some repeated and repeated work. Maybe we can optimize this part. And as we start from left to right, we actually do not use the cal you know the calculated uh, information. We haven't saved any information. As we just uh, check the rest of this the array. So how about we go from right to left, then we can cache some information that for the uh, following use. So this is one point we can optimize. So for a better solution, we start from index n to 1, n minus 1 to 0. Then we can use a data structure to save the calculated information. Uh, overall, our task is to check for every element whether we can find uh, something greater than itself and uh, also is the smallest possible value. Or we need to find uh, the element which is smaller than itself, which is uh, the, uh, the, at the same time the largest uh, pos uh, possible value. Actually, in Java, we have a great data structure to solve this problem. That is the tree map. We have a ceiling entry and a flow entry. We can know quickly whether we have a element fulfill this requirement. So when we go from right to left, we can save every possible element. And when we call this um, method we can know quickly whether we have these two elements and we can also do the odd jump and even jump alternatively when we use two boolean array that means we can reach here by a odd jump or an even jump so that means even n minus one which is the, is the last element in the array should be true that means we can reach the last element uh, by an even jump. The same mean the same meaning the old n minus one should also be true because we do not know whether we reach the end by an even jump or an odd jump. So initially the even n minus one is true and odd n minus one is also true. Then we go from right to left. For every element, which is AI, we will see whether it has a ceiling entry on its right. If we have a ceiling entry on its right, that means we can reach 
the city entry by a old jump. And then we will see whether we can reach this city entry by even jump, because these are uh, okay. trans transitively, because we alternatively do the old jump and the even jump. So that's the point. And for every element, do not forget to put the AI and I into the map. In the end, how do we get the result? Because at first, we do the alt jump. So in the end, we just check how many values in the alt array are true. And the ceiling entry and the flow entry have the time complexity of big O log N. And the outloop is n, so in turtle the time complexity is big O n times log n. Okay, let's write the code. We first get the size of this array. Then we need a tree map. The key, the value are both integer. The new tree map. At first, we need to put the last element, which is a n minus one and minus one to the map. Then we need a two Boolean array. That means even we, uh, whether we can reach this index by an odd jump or even jump. Boolean, even, new Boolean, and we know old oh, n minus one is true because that means we can reach the end by an old jump and even n minus one is also true because that means we can reach the end by an even jump. Then we iterate from the last two element i equal to n minus two i greater o equal than zero a minus minus. So we will check whether if they are the entry Map entry. That means old entry equal to map ceiling entry. That will be AI. That means there is some entry on its right. We can reach there by a old jump because the old jump is to find something greater than it. The same idea, the even entry, that means map flow entry AI. Then we check whether they are valid. If the old entry not equal to null, we can get that old I equal to the even. We convert that to integer map, oh sorry, old entry get value. What does that mean? Because we can go from AI to the old entry by an old jump. So if uh, we can go from some place to the this old entry by even jump, that means this old I is valid. This is uh, the Relation are trans transitively. So if the even entry not equal to now, the even i equal to old, convert that to in integer, even entry get value. So that means we can go from some place. Uh, by an old jump to the even entry, then we um, go from the um, uh, no, that means we can go from the AI then reach the even entry by a even jump. Then we will see whether we can reach the even entry by an old jump. Okay, every time do not forget to put the AII to the map. So finally, we need to 
check how many valid valid value in the order array. So if B is true, result increment by one. So finally return the result. Okay, thank you for watching. See you next time.